So we want to learn about top senior high schools in Ghana with their motos in Akan language. Yes, not those whose motto is in Latin or English or German or whichever language. Yeah, I mean Akan language. Yes. So the first one is Pempe College. Do you know their motto? <laughs> so Pempe College. Yes. Yeah. So Pempe College. The first one. PC, yes, PC. And their motto is Subai Ninim Dear. Very nice motto. Subai Ninim Dear. Subai means Karata. Yes, Karata. Ne. This is Ne. And Ne means end. Nim Dear means integrity. Say, Nim Dear means integrity. Yes. So, Subai Ninim Dear. Premier College motto: Subai Ninim Dear, character and integrity. It's not a small motto. Integrity is a big word. Yes, talking about integrity. When you read Job chapter two verse three, Job chapter two verse three, God Himself asked Satan, Satan, have you noticed or have you seen my servant Job? He's the finest man in the whole head. Yes. Is blameless, a man of complete integrity, a man of complete integrity. And this is not a person saying this, so called himself describing a servant Job as a man of complete integrity. So that integrity in Pempe Kale's motto, Charlie, it's not a small thing to be a man of integrity. To say you do this and you do it. It's not a joke. <laughs> yes. For God to tell Satan, the accuser, that have you seen Job, my servant? is blameless. A man of complete integrity. He fears God. God is telling Satan that Job fears me. Ha, huh, that's huge. <laughs> and God further said to Satan, my servant Job has maintained his integrity, has maintained his integrity. It's huge. It's, it's not a small thing. God saying this. He's maintained his integrity, even though you, Satan, has helped me to harm him without a cause. So it's huge. Integrity. So character, integrity, Charlie, you can't joke with integrity. A man of integrity will say, I'll do this, I'll do A. And that man will do it regardless of whatever happens. That's a man of integrity. A man of integrity says, I'll do B. And he does it no matter what. He will not say, I'll do B. And later he'll come and give a whole lot of excuse. You're not a man of integrity. So the, yeah, so the motto of Premper College, hey, Charlie. But PC boys. Some of you, <laughs> yeah. So, if you're a pen paper, don't just go through the school, don't just go and wear the green shirt and say that my blood is green. <laughs> Whatever you do should be green, you should be a man of character and integrity. And even if you are not a pen paper and you are watching this video, that should be your portion. You should be a person of character and integrity. That's Subai Ninim dear. <laughs> the next senior high school in Ghana with an Akan motto is Infantipim. Yes, of course, Infantipim, they, they are the Methusala of Ghanaian boys' school. <laughs> yes, if Infantipim does not get an Akan motto, the which other school will get an Akan motto? Infantipim mm, mm, school. Yes, that's the next school. I mean, they were established in 1876. So. At that time, English was not dominant. <laughs> Latin too. Yes. Latin was there, but then because they were the first school, and in Cape Coast, they should have an Akan motto. Drink Shekai. <laughs> Think and look forward. So the motto of our is Drink Shekai. Yes, don't just drink, but drink my and Shekai. <laughs> dream means think. Yes, think. Share means look. Kind means forward or ahead. Mm. Forward or ahead. So, drink, share, kind. That's a powerful motto. 
happiness. Dream, shekai. Don't just think. It's not enough to think. Because some people think and they move us backwards. So dream, shekai, be proactive. Yes, kind of be proactive. Yes, think about the result of your actions for future generations. Think about the future repercussions of your years. Macabro for yes, macabro future application. Amazing. Repercussion. So it's a macabro for her. Repercussion means effect. So to think about the future repercussion of your actions and your actions now. Dream shakai. Prepare is Subani Nim dear. If I will say dream shakai. It's not just about Subani Nim dear, but dream shakai. Of course, if you're a man of integrity, you should be able to think and look for it, right? Oh. <laughs> yes, dream shakai. To where you go see a dear, dream shakai. Where you go see a dear, dream shakai. So we are at the pastor, Jane Shekai. It's a powerful motto. Yes. It's so sweet now. Bwakra. The next thing I have school with an account motto is infant man. Of course, if there's infant pen, then surely there should be an infant man with an account motto. <laughs> of course, they are all in the central region. So infant man. The third one is infant man. The third one is infant man. Infant man, girls, infant man. Girls Senior High School. They were formerly called Salt Pond. Yes, Salt and Pond. Salt Pond Girls Senior High School or Secondary School. That time the Secondary School. <laughs> that time it was Secondary School. Right? So the motto of Impartman Girls is a brand new album. <laughs> Yes, Obra, Obra, Ne, Wow, but mm. it means life. Obra means life. Ne is is the Wow, but means how you play it. <laughs> yes, but what means play? What means play? So what wow, but life is how you play it. So life is how. You play it. So life is like football. Play it. When you play it well, you will score a goal. When you don't play it well, they will kick you out. <laughs> yeah, but that's a literal meaning. But a brand new album means life depends on you. Yes, it means life depends on you. The outcome of your life, whether you be successful or a failure, depends on your actions now. When you make good choices now, you'll be successful. When you make bad choices now, you will not be successful. And that's it. There are no two ways about it, and there are no shortcuts to it. Say, Obra Newarambo, life depends on you. I mean, it largely depends on you. Yes, yes you may be born into a poverty stricken family. Yes, my brother, poverty stricken, and your small brother. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so you may be born into a poverty stricken family, but that does not make you poor. Yes, you can still become rich and wealthy. But it depends on the choices you make in your life. Obra Newarambo. Yes. In fact, people will say that Jane Shekai. In fact, will say that Obra Newarambo. Prempa boys will say that Subani Nimitiye. Hey, Italy. So I can't go to a nice. Don't you think so? Yes. Prempa boys say that Subani Nimitiye. Yes. Character and integrity. Then, in fact, the boys will come. Hey, Jane Shekai. <laughs> Then if I my girls will come, oh bra, no more robot. That's what they're doing, Shekai. Oh bra, no more robot. Life depends on you. If you take your education serious and you learn, you can be successful. If you don't take your education serious and you join friends and then you just become negligence in life, life can treat you bad. Yes. When you are smoking, you are doing all kind of unnecessary things in life. Brand new horrible. <laughs> the first thing I school with an Akan motto is Apa. Yes, Greater Pass. <laughs> greater Pass. Just listen to the name. Greater Pass. Their motto is solid. <laughs> so the fourth one is Greater Pass. That's Apa. Yes. Apa. 
senior high school school yes to bracket great a pass even the name alone should tell you that their motto is solid mm, motto what's their motto their motto is obrapa jaura <laughs> Obrapa Jaurakwa. That's the motto of great uh, great pass. That's a pump senior high school. Obrapa Obrapa Ja Urakwa. Mm. That's solid. <laughs> means good life. Obrapa means good life. Good life. Obrapa Ja. Ja means like someone has come to visit you and they are going to escort the person back so someone visiting you in your house and then you go and escort the person back to where the person comes from that's ja ja so good life ja <laughs> escorts good so good life escorts the doer yes ura means like mister or the person yes ura ura yeah ura ura like person mm. i means Bye-bye. <laughs> so, crime means goodbye. Mm, like, kind of, crime means you first got somebody and you're way down a crime. It means uncle. Uncle, you're your feet. So, Obrapa Jorua crime means that good life escorts the person who does it literally also means that when you do good you do for yourself when you do bad you do for yourself when you go to a palm to go and chase women yeah, you do for yourself <laughs> when you go and learn you do for yourself yeah i mean that's a literal meaning it means whatever you do whatever choices that you make in life follows you when you make good choices they will follow you when you make bad choices they will follow you simple yeah <laughs> so we should make right choices in life because yeah. <laughs> so the fifth senior high school in ghana with an akan motto is brema isukuma senior high school yes brema isukuma have you heard of the school before yes in the central region bass so the fifth one is Bremen Isikuma Senior High School. Bremen Isikuma Senior High School. Bass. Yes. And their motto is Zimpa. Mm, Zimpa Ye Sen Awunya. Yes. Zimpa Ye Sen Awunya. Which means good name is better than riches. Yes, yeah, so Zin means name. Pa means good. So good name. Ye means good or better. In this sense, better. Better will be better. In this sense, better will be better. <laughs> Zin means than. Awunya means riches. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of biblical. Good name is better than riches. The sixth senior high school in Ghana with an account motto is a big girl senior high school. Yes, so a big girls, a big girls, a big senior high school. Yes, they have an account motto and it is Bepo. So high. Yes, Bepo so high. That's the motto of. A big girl senior high school. Bepo means mountain or hill. So means on <laughs> or on top. So on or on top. High means light. So Bepo so high. Light on top of the mountain. <laughs> yes. The Bepo so high. Light on top of mountain or hill. Sounds biblical to me. Why? When you read Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, the 14 says that ye are the light of the world. That's Matthew 5, verse 14. A city 
that is set on a hill cannot be hid. That's the 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. That means that a real girls cannot be hidden. Yes. They will always shine because they are on the mountain top. <laughs> That's my way to explain this shit. <laughs> yeah, because a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. When we read Matthew chapter 5, verse 15, the 15 says that neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. So since a big girl, their light is on a mountain top, they are shining stars. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they cannot be, they, they are always light. Wherever they go, they portray that light. Yeah. This thing says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yes. Let your light so, let this light shine before men. Yes. So let your light, in this case, it brings us their light, shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father which is in heaven. So you can see, the motto says, be post to high, light on top of a hill. And so light on top of a hill shining means that people will see the good works of every girls and then give glory to God or to Persecans. <laughs> yes, of course, Persec the Gomboys are their alliance. Yes, alliance, strong one crap, Brigis. <laughs> yes, Brigis. Yeah, Brigis. Brigis. Mm. The best alliance in West Africa. <laughs> Oh, high means light. Yes, high means light. And interestingly, Persecle Gone Boys, yes, they also have light in their motto. Their motto is in Lume, to be the Bimos Lume, meaning in thy light we shall see light. In Lume, to be the Bimos Lume, it means in thy light we shall see light. So you can see light. Light. Lume means light. Lumen yet also means light. Two lights against one light. Be possible. Yeah. <laughs> so the light dear. <laughs> Don't try. <laughs> the light dear. Preserve the big girl. The light dear. It's all about light. In God's light, we shall see light. And that light is set on a mountain top. Yeah. On a mountain top. It cannot be hidden. No. No. It cannot be hidden. So that. Other schools will see them and then give glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> the seventh senior high school in Ghana with an Akamoto is Ophiopin Senior High School. Yes, Ophiopin. Ophiopin is in the eastern region. Yes, Ophiopin. Ophiopin Senior High School. They are in the eastern region of Ghana. And their motto is Dream Nassau. Dream Nassau. Yes. Dream means think. Na means end. So means save. So Dream Nassau. Think and save. Wow. <laughs> the eighth senior high school in Ghana. With an Akamoto is Sunyani Senior High School. Yes, Sunyani Senior High School. So set. Have you been there before? <laughs> I see if I've been there. Sunyani Senior High School. And the motto is Mimanti, any minty. Yes, Mimanti, any minty. So me, man, enti, any, me, 
inti. Wow. Me man inti. Any minti. So me means my man means country. Yes, so my country. It means because. Any means and. Me also means my, but yes, yeah, better we use me. Yes, a different pronoun because of the nature of the the, the term. <laughs> it means because yes. So so in that sense, the motto means because of my country and because of me. Good. Because of my country and because of me. So I'm going to Sunani Sinai School because of my country and because of myself. So it's not just about myself, but my country too. Wow, that's deep. That's a deep motto. Me, mighty, any minty. Because of my country and because of me. Or because of me and because of my country. Yeah, all they go, all they make sense. Yeah. In other words, it means that. We live not for ourselves only, but for our country also. That's deep. We live not for ourselves only, not for ourselves only, but our country also. It's not just about us, but our country, Ghana. That's deep. Wow. See, I see the ice cream. I just love your motto. <laughs> The nice senior high school in Ghana with an Akamoto is dropping senior high school. So what's their motto? Yamisro Manimdie. Wow. Yamisro Manimdie. So that's the ninth one. Dropping senior high school. Their motto is Yamisro. Yes, the fear of the Lord. Ma nim die. Wow. That's serious. Nyamisro ma nim die. Nyamisro means the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Or fearing God. Or fearing God. Nyamisro. Fearing God. Ma means gives. Nim die. We learned it as integrity. So fearing God gives integrity. Wow. Yes, when you fear God, you will do what is right. You let your A be A, your B to be B. Integrity is what you do when no one is watching you. Yes. That's integrity. It's not when everybody is watching you and you appear to be the best person on earth. That's not integrity. When you are alone, no one is watching you. The things that you do. I'm so my name dear. Say, bring your name dear. If you will get integrity, then it comes from fearing God. Yes, The third senior high school in Ghana with an Akamoto is Konongu Odumase. Yes, Benuye. <laughs> yes, so that's the third senior high school. Konongu Odumase Senior High School. And their motto is Benu Ye. Mm -hmm. Benu Ye. Benu Ye. Benu means two. Ye means good. So, two good. <laughs> yeah. Two good than one. <laughs> yeah. In whichever way that you want to take it, two is good. Two is better. So, you can say two is good. Or two. Is better. That's benuye, benuye, or simple, too good. <laughs> so when you see a student from Konongo Dumasi Senior High School, all that you have to say is too good. Is say yeah, <laughs> yes, two is good. Two is always better than one. That's what they say. Two hairs are better than one. Yes, two hairs are better than one. The eleventh Senior High School in Ghana with an Akan motto. It's Nyakrum Senior High Technical School. Yes, Nyakrum Senior High Technical School. Yes, tech. Nyakrum, Nyakrum Senior High Technical School. 
A.K. Nyastek. Yes, Nyastek. Yes, and their motto is Pray Kokai. Yes, strive and move forward. Pray Kokai. Yes, pro means strive or fight. Yes, pro. We are praying. Oh, pray. <laughs> Call means go or move. Can means forward or ahead. So prayer, quaka, strive, go forward. <laughs> I say nyastek and say strive, go forward. Nyastek, strive, go forward. <laughs> so it's kind of fight. And move ahead. Yes, life they say is a struggle. If you don't fight or strive for what belongs to you, you will never get it. That's it. When you are not determined to achieve something in life, you will never get it. That's it. You will never get it until you strive very hard and be determined to achieve your goals regardless of whatever happens. That's when you can become successful. That's it. Live battle involves sweat. It involves hard work. It involves determination. It involves it involves a whole lot. Yes. So strive and move ahead. Fight. That's the motto. Pray quicker. Yes. And we long follow will put it in this way. Be not like damn driven cattle. Be a hero in the strife. Yes. So be a hero in the strive. That is life. You should be a hero in life's strive. Don't just be a damn driven cattle. They say we should all go there, you're all going. They say we should all sit and you're sitting. No, you'll be a failure. Just to strive. Yeah. What's again do what this? <laughs> hey, Yastek. So thanks for watching. I believe this video has been very educative to you. Yes. And uh, if you've not subscribed, please do so. Subscribe. And don't just subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that anytime I make new videos and I post them on the channel, you'll be notified and then you can go and watch and you learn. I really want you to learn along with me. Yes. There are many things in stock. Yeah. Who am I? <laughs> I'm David. Okay, I'm David. See you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>